Yeah, it was uh, uh, a tough encounter. We knew it was going to be an arm wrestle, and we stayed in that arm wrestle and um, got back into it. I thought it was a, a little bit of a momentum shift in the last four or five minutes, and we started to get going. But you know, unfortunately, we've uh, been penalised and then conceded, and uh, the game's gone away for us. So, but uh, I'm not taking anything away from South Africa. I thought they played really well tonight. I thought they were strong and physical. The scrum was good. They drove, drove, drove drove pretty well and the, and the collision stuff was was um, was good so you know they went there to take us on up front there wasn't a lot of uh, flowing rugby played uh, we tried to move the ball a little bit particularly in that first half and then uh, once we were in that arm wrestle um, you know it was, a, it was about uh, some attrition but I'm you know, very proud of the boys in terms of uh, never giving up and, and staying in there and uh, um, you know with a little bit of luck and a bounce of the ball maybe Things uh, might have been a bit different. So, Alan, when sort of um, same reaction, what's your initial reaction to that after? Um, it's funny that the the tighter games uh, you play are usually attritional, like Gat says, and um, not until those uh, four or five minutes was the end did. You feel out of it, or we were chasing it. We felt composed. We felt in it. Um, you know, we were proud to see the repost on, on both occasions to come from behind. Um, you know, credit to the boys. We um, went for the scrum and the line out and got just rewards. You know, to come back into the game um, and stay there w w was very pleasing. Um, and like I said, probably those first opportunities we had the um, possession. We would have liked to have done more, but like I say, when you know, semi-final, it does become a ch game of chess, uh, particularly set piece time, and that's what we found. And we we're just a few percent short today. Warren, when the bench came on, especially Thomas Williams, it looked like you were quite threatening. Could you have maybe done anything differently? Maybe done that earlier? I know it's easier said than done, but. Um. We brought him on after 45, 46 minutes. So you know we did speak about that before half time because it was it was pretty slow ball. It was um, like I said, we we needed to speed things up a little bit in terms of the ball. But that was the way that the game was being played, and um, you know South Africa made it uh, difficult for us because they were going to the air, you know, on so many occasions, and we kind of um, ended up having to replicate that a little bit. So. Um, yeah, I thought uh, um, I thought it was a, some of the guys coming off the bench was was a good experience for them in terms of what they would have learnt um, from tonight and, and for us as and for players and for Wales going forward. You know, there's some big moments. There's um, three or four penalties that are that are key in our own half, and uh, and that's the difference between winning those cl close games, those tight games, and and not and, and not winning them as well. So. Uh, look, we're very disappointed, but I'm incredibly proud of what we've achieved in this World Cup and what this group of players have done. And um, I think we can hold our heads high and, and, and leave um, Japan um, with a lot of respect. But we've got another game still when we, uh, to play the All Blacks. Um, the dream was to, uh, for my first game in charge of Wales, was to um, was against England, and the dream was to. It'd be at my last game, so it's it's not to be. But uh, look, there's a great group of uh, players that we've been involved with, and, and coaches, and uh, we need to recover well over the next couple of days and and start preparing for um, for the All Blacks. And, and we've got to enjoy. We're di really disappointed about tonight and uh, and not being in the final. But we've got to be proud of ourselves, and we've got to enjoy. Um, as Rob McBride said in the changing afterwards, the five months that we've had together, the hard work that we've done and and what uh, this group of players and coaches have achieved and um, uh, next Friday will be our last um, you know time together. So we've got to make sure that we enjoy this week. Warren, in your opinion, do you think South Africa can go all the way? Uh, yeah, they've got the physicality to... To, uh, um, to to match England, you know, they're England. I thought England we were outstanding last night. So, yeah, they've, they've got a very good chance. Uh, they might need to be a bit more expensive in terms of 
um, the way they want to play because they had a very um, pretty simple game plan tonight and using Delande in terms of from the scrums and um, and a lot of uh, box kicking from the to Clerk and from um, Pollard as well. But it was, it was very effective, and you know I think the, for them it was about making the final and doing what it, whatever they, that they could to, to make the final. So we've seen in the previous World Cup sometimes uh, teams play their final and semi-finals, and then don't always uh, turn up for a final. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, how England are next week. And uh, but uh, I think it should be a good game. Warren, um, you spoke about the, the box kicks and, and South Africa making it difficult for you. Do you think that you could have perhaps attacked a bit more, held on to the bit, ball a bit more instead of also engaging in the box kicking sort of game of chess? Yeah, I, th I think if you look at the first half, we did we did shift the ball on a few occasions. We got on the edges and we got uh, we got away, um, we put George North away. We got pulled back for a forward pass. So. Uh, we were looking to tack the short side a little bit as well. There we would open them up on a couple of occasions, um, but it was about just being a bit more proactive and uh, and and trying to take advantage of, of creating some quick ball. Um, yeah, but that's a fair comment. Um, you know, I thought definitely in that first half there were chances a couple of times in the second half, and um, but you know it was that they did a good job in terms of not even allow us to to get quick ball and um, and made it. Made it difficult, but you know, that was a message, and and why we you know got Thomas Williams on there to try and see if that could potentially change that, and the changes that we made in the side too. Warren, you touched on the character. The team have shown great character to to find different ways to win during the tournament, given the injuries and given the tight manner of some of those games, did it just feel like a, a game too far at the end? No, no, it didn't, not at all. I mean, it's 76 minutes on the clock, uh, it's 16 all, and, you know, I thought we had a bit of momentum there, and um, and we're in, uh, you know, significantly in their half, and like, it's a big turnover from, from a breakdown uh, where we haven't, uh, you know, we haven't kept the ball, and, and from there they've been able to get a, a penalty from a line-out drive. So I, I felt... The longer that game went on, and the, the more we were tired, that, that we would get a chance and we'd get an opportunity. So it, it didn't feel like it was a game too far at all. It just it felt like we were in a, like I said, in a real arm wrestle. It was a, it was a tough game, and and to be fair, those games against South Africa that we've had in the last five or six years have been, they've been all very, very similar. You know, we've been in uh, close, tight encounters that that could have gone either way, and and. Um, and congratulations to South Africa. I mean, they are the ones who came out on top tonight. Alan, what are your emotions after that? How difficult was it to take, and, and what was your message to the players at the end? Um, probably my, my face tells the story, I think. Um, um, Hurting, obviously disappointed, um, but we still got an opportunity. Um, you know, obviously selection dependent as it always is. Um, to make a bit of history, um, another opportunity, like I say, and we've got we've got that um, as as sticking carrot, if you like. Um, there's there's no real consolation in anything, but you know it is what it is. We move on. We make the most of the next opportunity. To, to put this red jersey on that means so much, not only to the group of 31 we've got, but to the nation back home and the, and the other support that we've had from uh, around the globe. Hi, Warren. Commiserations. Uh, you've obviously had your family out here uh, for the, well, all four uh, members of the family here together. How special has that been in this, you know, part of your career coming to the end with Wales? But also, how key a part will they play in terms of helping you get over the personal disappointment of tonight? Yeah, um, oh, they'll be important for 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 lots of reasons. Uh, um, yeah, look, we're, we're disappointed. I mean, I've been more disappointed in other games and in, in, in my career where you haven't given a hundred percent, or you know, some, the team who just hasn't fronted on the day, but. I can't ask any more of these players until how hard they tried. We 
South Africa. Congratulations to them. But um, you know, we'll put t tonight's game uh, behind us, and we'll start thinking about next Friday. But you know, the family are important, and it's been brilliant that they've been here. The, as Alan Wynne said, the support we've had from Wales has been um, outstanding. We've loved our time in Japan, and the hospitality has been been incredible. So. Um, you know, I think it's, it's important that you're humble in terms of, you know, I thought South Africa did, did well tonight and, the, and they deserve to win the game. And I, I need to take, as a coach, you take that on the chin and, and um, yeah, you're, you're disappointed, but it's, uh, it's important that you uh, recognise when a, another team's played well and in and a, a close game and, and, and put that behind you and start thinking, thinking forward. え、シュエーションのマッツェと言います。キャプテン、お願いします。あの、試合が終わって最後 Um, well, yeah, we, we centre field after every game. We've we've bowed to the to the four stands. Um, we started it in um, Kitakushu because you know it's not often you have a training session with fifteen thousand in attendance. And um, I think when we first came over here and we had that training session, we realised um, the desire that the Japanese people had uh, and the welcome that they'd given us. So we wanted to display our thanks, and we have, as we have done in that training session and after each game, and um, particularly um, with um, the loss that came after the typhoon, uh, the fortitude of the Japanese people and to maintain and put on such an event is is very special for players and the people of those nations. So you know, it's just a, a simple way to show the gratitude and what it means to a lot of players that. You know, strive for their careers and, and dreamt about being a part of this. So it's a, a huge thank you to the Japanese people. So we have time for two more questions here and here. Warren, you've had a fair few injuries over the last months, weeks, and a couple more tonight, it seems. How much do you think that affected your ability to compete right at the end today? Oh, there's no doubt we've had. You're going to. Uh, pick up injuries along the way. We picked up a couple tonight, um, but no, there's no excuse about that. I mean, we just got to, that's part of the game. It's part of sport, and uh, uh, we're not using that as uh, anything. I mean, it wasn't just a, a squad of 23; it was a squad of 31, and we kept re-emphasising that to everybody. And uh, um, you know, you don't like to see any player get injured, but you've got to have that trust and faith, and the people that you're selected and the whole 31 that they can they can do a job for you. So. Uh, we'll look closely over the next couple of days in terms of um, how the players pull up for this and um, and the game against uh, the All Blacks as well and um, you know whether we need to uh, make a few changes and, and give some players a rest because it's only a five-day turnaround so it's a, it's a it's a pretty big challenge as, as well so um, and uh, you know you're playing the All Blacks and they're probably hurting uh, as, as much as we are at the moment as well so. Uh, it's a tough game to play that third and fourth playoff, but you've got to go out there and um, give it the respect that it deserves, and go out there and um, and do the best you can to try and win it. Just further to that, Warren, um, will you call anybody else up, and what will it be like for your final game to be against the All Blacks <laughs> before you leave Wales after 12 years in charge? Yeah, um, we'll we'll just assess the players. Uh, the only I mean, look, Thomas Francis' uh, shoulder doesn't look brilliant. Um, so we, you know, we'll look at the squad and the depth we've got in the squad, and um, and you know who who we might need out here. It's it's a long way to come to to just be standing and holding bags at a, in, a, in a training session for a couple of days. So um, we'll have those discussions in the next couple of days. And so yeah, for me, look, it's um, my last game in charge of Wales against the All Blacks will be um, hugely monumental. I mean, it's, as a coach, it's the apart from being with the Lions, you know, it's the only team I haven't been with Wales, so uh, it would be nice to be able to achieve that. And then 
to look with some excitement about the challenges ahead for me and going back, uh, coaching back in New Zealand with uh, with the Chiefs and um, and then back to um, the Lions uh, for you know 12 months or so and try and uh, have some revenge on uh, tonight's um, game against South Africa. So we weren't able to do it tonight, but uh, maybe in a couple of years with the Lions, we'll be able to do that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Cheers. Thank you.